No, Piggy, that's my meat log. No, Piggy, that's my meat log. I said, no, Piggy, that's my meat log. <laughs> He's coming too. What the hell are you doing? He's awake. Good. Keep him focused. I like the way he feels. He feels sticky. Go about your duties. When the transfer is complete, then we'll have what we came for. I want you to believe me. I wish this could have been any other way, Jackie. But we all have tough choices to make, and this is yours. So you're the fucker who tried to hit us at the restaurant, huh? Don't talk, and don't think. Just listen. You've been keeping something that was once painful. lost. Something that doesn't belong to you. Now you have to choose to give it back. What happens to you is of secondary concern. I only care about one thing. I want the darkness! I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you don't. But the fact is, you're careless. And far too many criminals in this city believe you have a demon living inside you. The restaurant was a test to be certain you were the new darkness host. Now you've passed that test, we want it back. Hmm... I feel you shifting in there. Are you getting nervous? You're too stupid to give the darkness the fear and respect it deserves, Jackie. It prefers the company of a moron it can control, and it loathes the sight of an intelligent man who can control it. Now I'll ask just once. Will you give me the darkness of your own free will? Why don't you try and take it if you're such a fucking genius? If you read anything but comic books and menus, you'd know there are rules. The host may only give up the darkness by choice. I'm afraid I have to help you make that choice. Mr. Peevish, if you'd be so kind. Watch this, pretty boy. It's your own personal snuff movie. The darkness mm. made you watch your girlfriend's murder. Like your stuff. first meaningful act as its host Shut was one of submission. Kiss. Face it, Jackie. You can't control the darkness, and you never could. Best to give it back to the people who can. Hmm. That stream of dark essence flowing into the siphon tells me you're already thinking of giving it up. Let's see if I can grease the wheels of that decision. No, it's because I farted. Mr. Bragg. So, this was your girlfriend, huh, Jackie boy? I guess s'mores with lip rings give good head. What's the matter? Couldn't fuck her face when her head was blown off. Your mother did a pretty good job. Jackie! Oh, Jackie, the whole damn place is overrun! Don't give it inch, Jackie. They don't got the whole place yet. Shut up! You're under attack all across the city. We have the means and the intent to bring your organization to its knees, and within minutes, we'll control your home. So think fast, Jackie. This isn't just about you anymore. Make a choice, left or right. Jackie, no! You can't do this to me! You son of a bitch! Whoa, that one got wet. You did what you had to do, Jackie. You show these bastards who they just fuck with. Shut your ugly mouth, you fucking corpse. You made a bad decision to let the genie back out of the bottle, Jackie. To the darkness, you're just a puppet made of skin and gristle. Last chance. Will you give me the darkness of your own free will? Fuck you! Then not of your own free will. I'm trying to help you, but if you're too stupid to see it, I'll negotiate in a language even you can understand. Mr. Bragg! Kill everyone in the mansion. Find the old lady and tear off both of her arms! Hey, how about I tear off a useless old tit? What do you think of that, Jackie boy? You lost Jenny because you couldn't control the darkness. And now you're going to lose everything you cherish because you don't have the sense to accept your limitations. 
Break his will. He will beg us to take it from him. You will the fucking forget it. <laughs> oh. Resist! Uh, what the fuck I'm gonna give it to him? Oh. What the hell? It's a shiny fucking wall there. Oh. So sharp. Oh. Pointy. Project the darkness. Never! I'm done with you! Do not let them take me! Fuck you. I'm not leaving your puppet. You will do my bidding. Give me one good reason. Jenny's dead, you idiot. Focus! Give me the darkness, or your dear old Aunt Sarah is worm food. I can't. <laughs> you leave me no choice but to use the siphon, <laughs> Mr. Peevish. The binding rituals are nearly prepared. Won't be long now. Good. Keep working him over. I want him as weak as possible when the ritual begins. Resist. <laughs> The host broke free! Peevish, the siphon! Get outside and lock the fucking door! I tried to give you an out, Jackie, so don't ever say you weren't given a choice. Sherman the Vagan You bought this on yourself, and you've bought it on your family. I was only trying to help you! You won't die, Jackie. The darkness won't let you, but by the time you get out, your Aunt Sarah will be gutted and boned, and you'll have gained nothing. Think about just how powerless you are, because next time, I won't ask so nicely. Torch the entire building! Fucking Forrest Gump. <laughs> the Siphon! For Jenny!
here! Holy shit, Jackie! We thought you were done for! I know! I gotta get- Jack! They took the mansion! They're gonna kill everybody! Fuck! Meet me up ahead! I'll find my way down! Take the siphon! It will make us complete! Shut up! She cries, Jackie!
attack! We gotta get home before they kill everybody! Come on! Now here comes the fun. There was this priest that used to come around the orphanage, Father Alonzo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 I know what you're thinking, and it ain't that kind of story. Anyway, must have been about a thousand years old or something, real fire and brimstone type of guy. Used to tell us kids that hell wasn't some bullshit story they made up to keep us in line. It was fucking real. A fucked up place, where all the deadbeats, hookers, dealers, and junkies all ended up. And if we weren't careful, that's exactly where we were gonna go. Fuck. If only it were that easy.
Jesus, am I glad to see you. These guys came in like a bunch of fucking cockroaches. They're out of their minds. And you're not? I'm still alive, ain't I? More than can be said for these limp dick fucks when I'm done with them. You better head upstairs, boss. I got you covered down here. I ain't bleeding that bad. The elevator's coming down. Don't let anyone out of here, Jackie. Jackie, it's me, Vinny. Don't shoot. Jesus Christ, boss. It's a real shit boys. show up there. Your Aunt Sarah's hiding out in your panic room. We gotta get up there. Right now. You guys get upstairs. I'll hold the fort down here. Hey, Jackie. Best day of the week so far. Hmm. Best day of the week, eh? Let's have some pretty fucked up weeks. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Let's do this. Shit! Thank Christ you made it back here. What's some serious shit, man? Johnny, talk to me. What am I up against here? The seal on the envelope you found on Swifty? It belongs to the Brotherhood. The who? They were the original keepers of the darkness, Jackie. The Brotherhood is the holy fucking grail of secret societies. They're led by a guy named Victor, high priest, royalty to them. He's not a good person, understand? Yeah, I met that asshole. He came after me with some kind of... thing. It was sucking the darkness out of me. There's only one thing that can do that. The Siphon of the Angelus! Jesus! I thought that thing was lost for good! Hoped it was lost for good! What the fuck is it? It's the device the Brotherhood used to cage the darkness. It's an instrument of light. It was made thousands of years ago. Some say it was forged by the Angelus itself. It's the only thing that can contain dark essence. Well, um, besides, besides you. It's powerful, Jackie, and dangerous. If they found it, that's bad. This really crooked eye fuck drives me crazy. Just, uh, just don't know which eye to look at. Uh, uh, who knows? But I'm sure more. it's not good. All right, all right. I get the picture. Look, stay put. I'm gonna put these fucks out of their misery. Jackie! Holy Christ, am I glad to see you. We never saw these guys coming. They got into the damn ditches! Who the fuck are these guys? They don't look like nobody I ever seen before. Jackie, we gotta get you up to your Aunt Sarah. And hey, watch yourself out there. You too, Vinny. You be careful. I think they're all gone. Come on. Let's do this.
on fucking hard? Shit. Guess I gotta be more gentle next time. I'm breaking all my fucking hearts. Fucking hard, man. Jesus. Those fucking guns. Sarah's upstairs in your bedroom, locked in your panic room. They're trying to break through the door. We gotta move now. No, Jackie, you gotta get to your ex. Yeah, I'll I'll show show you.
world. You'll come back from this, you know you will. And when you do... Oh, that was one big vaginal bleed. Wrong choice, Jackie boy. Jackie, help me, please. Wake up. Come on, Jackie, wake up. Everything's okay. <clears throat> There you go. You're out of it now. You fell out of the bed. You... Benny? I don't understand what's happening. Is this... Is this hell? Okay, that's a new one. This is the darkness, isn't it? It's some kind of trick. Come on, Jackie, don't start talking about that stuff again, okay? The darkness isn't real. It's just in your mind. What? I'm sorry, but I know you get confused by all this. These bad dreams are a part of being sick. You gotta help us get you well again. I'll tell you what. You go by the dispensary before breakfast and I'll tell the doc you had a good night. Heh. <laughs> what can I do for you? us all even you i'm not even supposed to be here just calm down mr walker <sighs> what the fuck is happening Psychos. to me the fucking nut world i'm not fucking nuts i mean i can get nuts but you know not fucking nuts yeah, I understand. jenny huh? i'm concerned he's regressed into a more complex cognitive disorder his thoughts are becoming extreme. Hey, Jackie. I got that thing you wanted. It's big. Johnny, talk to me. What is all this? Some kind of darkness you trick? That's what I told them. They wouldn't believe me. They got bad wrists from all the computers. I tried to get your rocket in here, but it was too big. That's why I don't go outside no more. Johnny, you gotta help me get out of here. Got your you think there's some right kind here. of secret key to everything, Jackie? It's Tuesday. You take your medicine and then you get your meatloaf. God damn it. Au revoir, arrivederci, and goodbye. All right, so let me get this straight. He says he lives in a big mansion kind of place. Right. He calls it a mansion, but from the description, it sounded more like a penthouse. He said him and his f fancy hairdo l live there. Jackie, Dr. James is looking for you. He wants to talk to you. It's okay, you're not in any trouble. Just go see him in his office. Fucking, uh... I condone him. Frank! Frank, I'm so sorry about Eddie. Oh, you mean Edward? He's right over there waiting by Dr. James's office. Go on over there, alright? Oh, you mean Edward? Dr. James is waiting, Jackie. Jimmy! Jackie, come on in. I'd hoped I'd uh -huh. see you this morning. Please, have a seat. Now I know this ain't real. <laughs> no fucking way you're a doctor. I've heard from your nurse that you're getting worried about your medication again. Do you understand why you take the medicine, Jack? I'm not crazy. This but is just an illusion. Bigger. If you know it's an illusion, you could make it go away. But we've had this discussion before. You can't make it go away, because it is not an illusion. Don't you see what's happening, Jimmy? The darkness is inside our heads! You mean the voice you hear, Jackie? The one that makes you do bad things? <laughs> Does that seem reasonable to you? Look, I'm not gonna skirt around the issue any longer. Dr. Vic and I are concerned that you're making up new rules as you go along. Mafia fiction's fine for television, but not for real life. You're not the head of a crime family, Jackie. You're a patient in this institution, and we're trying to help you get well. There is something wrong with this place. You're not keeping okay, me here! Jackie, let's just stay chill. Dr. James is trying to help you. Ready? Shut the fuck up! Jackie, I know you're upset, but I'd like you to use your quiet voice now. <laughs> I no longer wish my to speak to your darkness voice. Oh, my darkness Fine. Voice. 
Let me out of here. I gotta take a walk. All right. Nobody's stopping you. Edward, take him to see Nurse Jenny. Come on, Jackie. Just try to stay calm, Jackie. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Doc. Stay calm. Let's go see Jenny, Jack. Gonna boot up your ass. There's Jackie, little I'm so glad you're back on your med cycle. <laughs> it's a very positive <laughs> sign. <laughs> oh, there it is. Bend over the table, bitch. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, you dirty little Dr. Fella. Vic's been asking me about your progress. He's very concerned for you. We all are. Dr. Vic's? Jenny, I don't know what this place is, but I'm gonna get us out of here. Why would I want to get out of here, Jackie? I work here. I'm here to help you. No. No, not you two. Not you two. What the fuck is happening? Just stay calm, Jackie. It's going to be all right. Now, last time we talked, you were telling me about the delusions you've been having. You said you were the head of a mob family and that your house was under attack by men trying to steal the darkness from that you. That wasn't a delusion. That just happened. I know it did. I know it feels real, Jackie, but it's... Jenny, you gotta listen to me. I think this might be hell, and we're trapped here. I'm gonna get us out. I can see why it seems like hell to you sometimes, <laughs> but it's just a hospital. I want you to trust me. Everyone here is trying to help you. I don't know why this is happening, Jenny. Burning. You were dead. I saw you die. We talked about this, remember? When you don't take your medicine, you have a hard time separating fiction from reality. You get a lot of bad dreams when your serotonin's out of whack. It makes you think oh, you're remembering serotonin. things that never happened. But my family, my, my friends, the darkness. Jackie, the darkness. none of this is real. I'll work out a schedule with Dr. Vic. Play your cards right and we can see a lot of each other, okay? Jackie, you okay? My schedule? What? Jenny, you don't understand. You're in real trouble. We both are. We're getting out of here. Now! Jackie, whoa, no. whoa, big guy. Code white! <clears throat> Easy, <clears throat> Jackie. Let oh, go of me! God. Come on! You were doing All right, so here we go. Good. Easy, easy. Calm down, Jackie. We're not gonna hurt you. Keep him still. Geronimo! Johnny! Cut it out! Go. Johnny! What Two. the hell are you doing? Sleep. Get him off, would you please? Run, Jackie! Get back here, people. Jackie! Head for the bunker! He Tell must Eva ate some I could prunes. Be He's running for the door! Jackie, Boy, get back this here! Way. There's nothing out there for you! See, as long as the bloodline continues, the darkness will always have a new host. Found that on my fifth birthday. Woke up in the middle of the night with my dad, just sitting on my bed, hovering over me. Butcher knife in his hand. <laughs> Still not really sure if the crazy fuck was thinking of putting me out of my misery, or making sure no one else would take his place. Make it stop, oh, Jackie! Jackie, Jesus! And uh, I think we're gonna leave it there. Darkness won't let you die, but I, I never believed you. Took it four days Good to night. prepare you after.